Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Eileen. Uh, today I'm gonna share um, my uh, Christian's Crafty Adventures Hutch Kit that I purchased uh, a few weeks ago. And I wanted to share how I'm going to cover my hutch. And this one comes ready to go with all the tape and they're all labeled. And it comes with, she provides the beads for feet. So here you go. And then she also provided a drawer pool. So you got these colors. But I think for today, I, I'm not gonna use the purple for today. I think I'm gonna pull some from my stash and um, use a color that complements this paper collection, which is Wild Heart. I got it at Tuesday morning years ago, years ago. So the reason I pulled this is because I'm working on a on National Women's Month with some of my crafty friends. And I wanted to get, um, you know, some wild prints going here. So I did start using a paper pad from Michaels, or not Michaels, uh, what is this one? Pretty in Palms, and I thought that would go really cute together because it has the whole black and white and green and black and then the black and white also in this paper pad. So you can see all the patterns. I think they would coincide well. So I'm gonna put you on time lapse because um, Christian has a tutorial on her YouTube channel how to assemble this. So I just wanted to share with you all how I am going to cover mine, not necessarily a tutorial. So I'm gonna put you on time lapse. I'll first probably pick some papers, I guess, right? I love the paper with the shades. So you guys, I've had this in my collection and you know, one other crafty friend, Chris, who is, I keep saying Christian and Louisa, um, Louisa, who uses this hashtag right now all year long. So if you're interested, use this hashtag on Instagram and YouTube and pull it up in the search bar and you'll see several, several projects already using this hashtag. So, um, yeah, feel free to join in on the fun. And also I will be tagging Louisa and Christian because this is her kit. And I would love for them to see what I come up with, but definitely use your stash. And I'm so proud because um, all since January, I've been using, literally using my stash, hardly, hardly buying any crafty, new stuff unless it's from a small business which i love just just basically supporting my my friends look at those glasses those are pretty but um yeah i think i might use that one and this one these two um but definitely go check them out i love that paper is beautiful oh that oh this one's pretty too definitely gonna have some options here oh i like the leather yeah you know what we're gonna go with the leather sorry i'm gonna pull these paper papers out of my paper pad they're single-sided and then um oh, is it, where's that other pattern i think it's this one and then i'll put you on to time lapse because what i'm literally gonna do is cut this down to mat my my hutch so it's all pre-cut and pre-taped and also labeled so you know what part is what if you purchase this hutch kit. Um, but yeah, and then I'll put it to the side for now and yeah, we'll go from there. So enjoy the video and I'll see you at the end.
Okay guys, so here I have the main part of the hutch. This is just the upper part where it has little, two little shelves. And with this, you could, you know, put the shelf at any height, wherever you want it. Um, I chose to put the, the little shelf on the left side. Um, she has hers on her, on her right. So yeah, just up to you where you want to put those little, you know, shelves. So I'm going to start on the next piece. I don't even think this is completely square because my gluing is not the best. Um, even with the tutorial, it's, I'm still a little, you know, challenged when it comes to dimensional 3D, 3D stuff. So I'm just gonna add some glue on the bottom here because it's not completely touching and my glue had already dried up. So I'm just gonna add hot glue down here so it's reinforced. And then I'm gonna put you guys back on time lapse just so you don't have to get bored with watching me assemble my little hutch. All right, so I'll put you guys back on time lapse and I'll see you at the end. Okay, guys. Oh, girl. This was a journey. Okay. So, uh, things I've learned. <laughs> Watch the video of her tutorial three times over. <laughs> Watch it more than once, guys. That way um, you could get all the details. Um, I made several mistakes. The top piece is not centered on my hutch. My shelf is a little crooked. I should have lined uh, all the inside walls of my uh, top portion of the hutch before putting the shelves in. I didn't pay attention. And I should have used um, more of the green paper to line my inside of the hutch. So when you do this, make sure you watch the video three times over. <laughs> um, the other thing, um, the other thing I wanted to say was uh, pay attention to your measurements. You could probably see in the time lapse I cut these skinnier layering pieces several times. Um, I don't know. I like it. I like I like um, what I did for covering it up, but I will probably make another one just like this uh, with a different paper selection. And make sure that your hutch top portion is square. Mine is not, so that's kind of where I'm at with it. I also wanted to pull some uh, some of my stuff in my stash. I have some of these bows in my stash, and I do have some beads. And I don't think these are going to go well with the with this um, 
what is it called hutch so let me grab that i'll be right back okay guys i went into my stash and i found something else that i wanted to use instead of the bow because i kind of feel like um i actually think that it will come apart after a while so i'm going to use some brads that i have in my collection um they, i also have these little drawer knobs you just make a hole and then you unscrew this part and poke it through your drawer. And I think I wanna use two little pulls instead of one. I think that will be pretty. Uh, I do have um, green colored beads and, oh my gosh, I didn't open this. <laughs> All right, so I think I would wanna use these. I think that'll be cute, but I also have dark green. I don't know. And I got these off of Amazon, guys. So that's where I got my stuff. And so are these drawer pulls. So they're all from Amazon. What I do want to add to this, because I'm going to use the gold um, drawer pulls, I'm going to add some gold. I should add some gold to it. And just, you know, some dabs of gold. Hopefully I don't mess up my um, my mat right here. Let me see. I just wanna add just some gold, some dabs of gold, just a little bit. Nothing too serious. See, you guys see that? Just taking my paint marker um, no exact pattern. I don't really, you're not going to see much of it. You just, I just wanted some touches of gold and I'll put that there. These are wooden beads from Amazon. Don't have to be a Picasso. You just touch it. Okay. Well, that's good. And then get on here, just like that. Get all of my beads and then I'll put the drawer pulls onto that and then I'll add the feet, okay? While that is drying, I'm just going to use an awl. Move this out of the way. And take the drawer. Whoops, there goes all the beads. <laughs> Good thing they dry fast. Okay. Okay, and now I'm going to use the ruler. Just see where we're at. At least a little bit even, right? So this is at six... I don't know, <laughs> six and five, one, two, three eighths, six and three eighths, okay. And this is how many inches? As many times as I've measured this. One and one, two, one, two, three. Anyway, we're just gonna go for it, six and three eighths. Just go with six right there. Should go with this mark right here. It's just measuring one inch, I mean. <laughs> Guys, this is hard. It's hard for me to measure. So go in about one inch right there. Actually, I could just use my hole puncher, but I'm trying to make things so complicated, I swear. All right, so there's one. Now let's get the other one. One inch, so about right there. Does that look right? It's hard to see past the camera. Oops. I'm trying to make it slow so I don't make a big old hole in there. And let's just go with that. <laughs> and we're gonna call this done in a minute. All right. Oh, let's lose everything. <laughs> 
All right, so I'm gonna take the little um, bolt part in the back, going through the back. You don't have to do this. This is just the way I wanna do it. Of course, it's not big enough. Try and try again. Like I said, I cannot see past this camera. It's right in front of my face. All right, so we're just gonna add the knob on top. And I like that a lot better. Look at how cute that is. Let's make this bigger since we went through that struggle already. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. You can just go ahead and use what uh, came in her kit, but I'm gonna go with this one. And oh, try, you know. Life is not hard enough. We just got to make it more complicated. <laughs> so I think that looks great. All right. I like that a lot. Let's just add that on real good. And we should be really good to go. All right. Look at how neat that is on the inside. Love it. All right. So now I have to add my feet. Oh my gosh. I love that. Very cute. All right. So now I'm going to use um, glue, hot glue. I think I will just add them to the corners. Don't make it so complicated. Turn this upside down. Give it a good blob. And just add your feet. Make sure all the gold that I just put on there is right. You can see it. All right, let me add the last of this. And you could use E6000. I'm just going to use hot glue. It's up to you what you want to use. That's what I'm going to go for. I think, I think that'll be fine. Just add the glue. And then add your bead. And if you don't get that hot glue, you know, I mean the gold specks showing, you can always add more. I think this would be great for Easter displays. You know, make some little miniature bunnies and gift stuff. You could do all kinds of things with it. There we go. There are the feet. Got my little drawers in. Now let's see. Oh my gosh, it's just stinking cute. Christian, bravo, bravo to you. This is an amazing kit, although it did take me a minute or a long time to get my pieces in order and uh, figure out how I want to um, decorate it. But yeah, there's my little touch and I love it <laughs> and just add a little bit more gold love gold on green so pretty all right so that is it guys I hope you enjoyed this video as long as it is <laughs> um, please go check out Christian's crafty adventures on Instagram and YouTube she does sell kits from time to time and yeah I think the last thing I will add is my sticker. I even did the back, as you guys can see. My secret stash opens up on the bottom and on the top. And you can hide your crafty money, like Christian said. <laughs> or gift a birthday friend, I don't know, whatever you feel, guys. But yeah, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you're new here, please subscribe. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video. It helps YouTube know that um, you enjoy my content. And also hit the notification bell while you're at it because I do lives on um, Wednesdays. I mean, not Wednesdays, Sundays. Sometimes I take turns with a few ladies. Um, so yeah, go hit all those fun buttons and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye.